Up until now, the Advertising Standards Authority has only been able to monitor traditional advertising. However, as of the 1st of March, the ASA has set to gain new powers to regulate online media. Previously, only paid-for advertising online was regulated by the ASA. However, this will now expand to include any content on commercial websites, as well as social media sites such as Facebook and Twitter, that could be interpreted as marketing. One sector that will be paying close attention to these changes is the travel industry. Well, the travel industry is going to have to be very careful um, because most consumers now will start their research online. It's going to be very important that uh, travel companies own websites particularly and anything that they're doing in order to catch up with the, the craze of social media, that the messages they're putting out are actually compliant. So if they are advertising a deal or a special offer or availability, then it has to be real. At Travel Zoo, we absolutely support these changes. We've always believed in being the consumer as champion. We've always believed in visibility and clarity as far as our subscribers are concerned. So when we publish a deal, we know that it's available and that we know that the price that we, uh, we are showing is the price that people will pay. So yes, this is very important to us. With regards to the consumer, I actually think that most consumers will believe that it's regulated currently. So we need to make sure that the message gets across that this is a new regulation that is coming in. No, I didn't actually. I didn't realise that the websites weren't regulated. I did not know that they were currently unregulated. Um, I only found that out recently through tube adverts actually. You know, actually, I didn't know that. I thought they would have been, because obviously you don't actually get a first-hand view or to talk to anyone about it, so I would have thought they would have been. No, I didn't know they were going to do that, but I think it is a good idea that, that some, some sort of framework should be set in place. The Advertising Standards Authority have stated that all travel websites contain many marketing claims that will be subject to the rules. However, they also claim that the remit extension should not be burdensome for the travel sector. It is already largely compliant with the advertising rules in traditional media space. I think it's going to be a lot more complicated than most people think. At Travel Zoo, our deal experts are literally scouring thousands of offers every week from newspapers, from magazines and online as well. And we are rejecting over 80% of those deals. Now, they may well comply to the regulations, but not meet our strict criteria because they are misleading on a number of other levels. I don't think I trust online offers that much. I think it ne when I do see them, I do research a bit more um, to see if there's any hidden call, um, charges such as taxes. Sometimes you get misguided though, don't you? Like, you know, you see a bed online maybe and it says that it's really cheap and you think you can get the mattress with it, but you don't. If the offer's too good, it's most likely not true. So, uh, you know, a little bit of normal judgment. I would say. The top issues that our deal experts are coming across on a weekly basis are the price that is advertised is no longer available, it's sold out or you just can't find the offer at all. Um, there can be some significant hidden costs so the price that you think you're going to pay is not the price that you will end up paying. Um, but also what we're looking at is the value in the marketplace. So whilst a, an offer may actually be, look like a great offer, when we look around at what is available in the market, it really isn't very good. The question is whether it's going to be something that they can work around anyway. So it's going to be loopholes, I reckon, in any um, legislation or regulation. Um, but I hopefully it's tight enough to um, protect the consumer. Realistically, to make this work, what we need is the general public, if they come across deals on uh, travel companies' own websites or maybe in social media that they feel to be misleading, is to alert the uh, Advertising Standards Authority. Practically, without them doing this and without their help, it's going to be very, very difficult to police this.